Hello, and welcome to the channel. Do you see what I see? <laughs> I will destroy their planet. If you're looking to become a better Snap player, you've come to the right place. I explain all of my moves so you can apply those thoughts to your own games, and hopefully we can get better together. So the deck I'm using today I have named Psych Galactus. It is a War Machine deck primarily uh, with a sneaky play of Galactus, which I'm hoping I can pull off. I've achieved the rank I want to for this season. Uh, I have cracked the top 1000. So we are starting at rank 871 and we will take this deck into ladder and see how it does. Okay, first game against Rai Kiri. We have a good line to kind of pull off the Galactus play. Bar with no name and Quake is fantastic. Hmm. We will play. We will play Jeff out left. We have War Machine and Ebony Maw. That's a great combination for the last turn. The Big House. I will play Green Goblin right because what I'm thinking is I want to flip. I might flip this bar with no lame location with Quake. So. In the turn, I'm going to snap. I have a very good line here with Storm into War Machine into Quake and Ebony Maw. I cannot play Storm right. There's my first mistake. <laughs> there it goes. Uh, let's see, let's see. Because of Icebox. Hmm. Well, they have small car. They have big cards, so they they can't play in the big house. But they could resurrect with Hella. We will storm left. Wind aid my. And then we will play War Machine left. And we will just see how this last turn and where I quake. Or if I quake. Okay, perfect. I definitely quake. And so now it's just loading up right. Quake. They have priority. Uh -uh. Ebony Maw, White Widow, and do I move Jeff mid just to, I think I move Jeff mid just to cover, just to cover myself mid, see how this plays out. <laughs> like and subscribe that felt way way too easy and this is how the deck works a very strong first game to start out we could not we did not draw our galactus or i would have galactus i would have quaked earlier and galactus my flooded lane after i play war machine but this was just a very favorable set of locations for quake Alrighty, next up is No Chance Lance. Attilan, Ebony Ma, Daredevil. So, because Attilan is here, I could play Ebony Ma down, and then Daredevil, Green Goblin. I could wait for turn three and play Daredevil and Ebony Ma together. I kind of want to empty my hand typically when I run into Attilan. 
They are a Loki deck. So this isn't necessarily a great matchup for us. I could play Ebony Maw into Tarnax. I will just play Daredevil left because that's where they have this two power. Next turn I will play Ebony Maw and Jeff just to get more cards out of my hand, which is important for me with Attila. Uh, that's a snap. So they are stuck. It's a snap because they are stuck. <laughs> with, with two power, two energy. <laughs> so we, we take those. We definitely take those. Uh, and uh, what, what a match. This deck is OP. Okay, we are up against Spider Luke L. Bar with no name again. Where is Quake at? In turn, nothing to do here on turn one. I could Ravona Green Goblin and lock that lane with Professor X and then swap if I can draw into Quake, swap the locations with Bar with no name. Or I could always storm that location. Another card that potentially works in this deck is Legion for the turn four storm play in the turn five Legion. Okay, New York. I actually won't be able to play Quake if I lock a lane with Professor X. So we will just try to win New York. Hard play for New York. Is this an Angela? No, Cable, okay. So hopefully they did not take my War Machine. Uh, I think White Widow is worth more power here. So I will play White Widow. Uh, I, I don't think. She's definitely worth more, more power. I'm going to snap because I'm in a very advantageous position. I'm in all likelihood going to lock mid with Professor X. But I also potentially could play Green Goblin middle. And these locations are not great for them. Jeff and Kitty, okay. Ah, there's our War Machine. Perfect. Okay, so we definitely lock middle now, because I can play War Machine next turn. And then the plan is to Storm Bar with no name. So Storm Green Goblin for my last turn play. Hopefully I can win New York without needing to commit additional resources, but we will see. Okay, I cannot. So we play War Machine. Oh, I can flip. So with Quake, with War Machine and Quake, I could actually flip a location that I want to. So I'll play War Machine right, get Vibranium. How many cards did they grab of mine? Just four, okay. So we can play like they didn't grab what they needed. Great draw on Vibranium that fills out my curve. Whoever has the least power, they have priority. So if I play Quake mid, Bar with no name flips here. And then I can play Green Goblin and Vibranium. So again, the Quake play, we do this for the dramatic flare. Quake play is always last. And this is a little risky because the nine points doesn't win 
mid, but they also can't play War Machine. So so that that is out of the question. So they can't play mid actually. So undo. Oh, I want to play two cards middle. Okay, that's fine. We just lose mid. And even if they play Quake, oh, if they do play Quake mid, they could move out Jeff. Oh, this is... Okay, let's hope they don't have Quake. Uh-oh, I think they have Quake. <laughs> yep, they drew Quake. Hmm. Loki got us. So this was always going to be the right play. I'm leaving this in here. This is the right play that I made. Because Loki only took four cards. Now, they needed to win this. They needed precisely... They needed two cards. Either Quake or Storm. So they needed two out of 12 of my cards, and they could have won Bar With No Name, which they, they did. So they needed two cards, but they only drew four of my deck. I don't know what the math is there, but four cards from my deck is 30% of my deck, and the chances that they would get one of those two cards has got to be below 50% as well. So this is just the game of playing the odds. And that's why it's the right play. I had a better than 50% chance of winning. So if that's the case, I'm going to do it. Uh, if I expected some kind of... If they drew more cards, like if their hand was full, I may have expected the Quake, and then I would have played Quake right, and we would have won because I would have... Uh, I would have expected them to play Quake right, and flip bar with no name mid because that was the smart play. And so me playing Quake right would have flipped these two back and I wouldn't have played Vibranium left. I would have played it right or not played it at all. It wouldn't have mattered. So that's how that's how this game played out and that's why I stayed because I had a better than 50% chance of winning. Alrighty, we have Hot Guy. Decent starting hand. Kitty, okay. So I think I play... I think I give them a rock. So I want to play Ravona left. And then I want to save White Widow. Are they going to fill this location? Oh. Well, can't anymore. <laughs> uh, we will play Green Goblin. Or do I White Widow? For a Flood deck, I like to save White Widow. But also, we do have Professor X, which can lock in that uh, negative four. So I think I play White Widow. And I will snap because I see my play and my philosophy is to snap two turns before my surprise play. So I want to Professor X block the right lane. So let's see what they play. Okay, that's fine. And so now this is just going to come down where they play their kitty at. But they're running out of space. We do have Jeff, actually, to shore up right, uh, so we don't need War Machine. Perfect. So we've locked that. They took our Daredevil. <laughs> and now... What do I want to do? 
I think I will play... It's highly unlikely they fill the lanes. So I'm going to play Green Goblin here. Why is the Widow Kiss zero? If your are Professor X makes it zero? Um, excuse me, I hate to interrupt your game, but... Then don't! <laughs> <laughs> That's confusing. Uh, and Jeff over here for now. We can always move Jeff out later, but I am thoroughly confused. Why their side of the board is not filled. Okay, so they took our Daredevil. They get to see our plays. This is a small card deck. Yeah, so they could have filled middle. But they did not. So we get our Green Goblin down. Could we pull off Galactus? Galactus would be eight. Or do we just play Grimora? I just play Gamora. They have priority. So Gamora is the smart play here. This Widow's Kiss being zero is pretty confusing to me. But we are in a strong position to win this. So we get up to 15 middle. So yeah, we, we got this. Strong win. Perfect. We didn't need War Machine, Jeff came through instead. So even though this has the surprise play of Galactus, and that's quite honestly my favorite play to pull off, uh, even though it's very rare, you can see this deck can really win through some control and lockdown and really uh, being able to read your opponent. Alrighty, next up we have Line. A little bit of a top heavy hand. I'm leaning toward Storm and Quake and War Machine. So we will. Yep. We will snap. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I want to storm Sinister London if I can. Perfect. And now I want to quake. I want to quake. That way I can get flooding by itself. So I will just play Daredevil here and we'll see if whose cards get destroyed. My cards will be getting destroyed. Oh, so it's attack. Okay. Never mind. Oh, Jeff is very nice. Thank you. Thank you for your service, Quake. Oh, am I? I totally missed it. Why did their cards get destroyed? Five and two is three. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. Mockingbird. Okay, so I will play War Machine. Right. And then I can play Gamora right and Ebony Maul left. Right. 
Red Hulk at 13. You must face the world eater known as Galactus. Do you see what I see? <laughs> The play came together. The best they can do is play Jeff in the flooding. And you know what time it is. It is time to kneel. I said, it is time to kneel. Such insignificant creatures. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh, they robbed me. Oh, I got robbed. Oh, I wanted to see the animation. So this is the hilarious play that I love with this deck. You can flip, even though Quake's not here, Quake is not Jeff. You can flip the flooded location to a totally empty location or one where they have less than five power. And then after you play War Machine, Galactus just obliterates. And they probably were afraid of just losing on power because I could play enough power right and also win flooded. So if I didn't draw Galactus, my play would have been Gamora right and Ebony Maw left. Which again is why we have Ebony Maw and Gamora instead of uh, Infinite, instead of uh, Ebony Maw. That way we can split the power, which would have come in handy had I not drawn Galactus. But Galactus is always the play, always. If you can get them off and flooded, do it. Uh, and we will take the retreat. Sadly, we couldn't see the animation, but you all get the idea. Okay, and that is where we will end it. Our final rank is 877. I had a couple of bad uh, four cube losses where I knew I should have retreated. I may or may not have included those. Uh, th there's definitely a loss that I included that I felt would be very useful. This deck is pretty good. Yeah, we didn't really gain ranks, but I did stay steady. Also, in the top 1,000, gaining ranks is tough. So don't necessarily base me not really gaining ranks on this deck's effectiveness. This deck can be very effective, especially with all of the different lines, with Quake being very unpredictable, War Machine allowing you to get into a Storm lane and a Professor X lane. The, of course, Galactus play, which we kind of got to see. And the Ebony Maw on the last turn with War Machine. I am, the more I use this deck, I'm becoming more convinced that this is actually a very good and strong War Machine deck. Even though he's been getting a little hate and looked down on, I really do think this is the deck that uh, he shines in, especially with these lockdown components. And yes, the lockdown components are the main way to win with this deck. But even with that, War Machine adds a lot to that game plan. So I encourage you to give the deck a try. I'm, I'm having fun using it, and it's it can be used for success. And until the next time, take care. <laughs>